Hi, I'm Sara and I'm currently a master's student at the University of Glasgow, specializing in immunology. However, I have a great interest in space science and in particular, the concept of space exploration. It is actually my dream to monitor the health of astronauts and understand what kind of effect space has on the human body so that we can come up with therapies and treatment ideas that would protect future Mars explorers. Such a long journey into the depths of space exposes you to all sorts of uh, extreme conditions, to radiation and altered gravity, and it seems like our bodies have a really cool ways of adapting to these changes. However, they can't always do it fast enough, and so it would be really exciting to use science to help them out a little bit. For example, we can create protective shields for spaceships. There are also ideas related to how you could prepare your brain for a different gravity so that you can balance more easily when in space. Astronauts spend hours on giant centrifuges and other spin devices. They perform extensive training underwater so that when they actually arrive in space, their body is more ready for it. And so having a background in biology, and in my case, immunology, opens up so many possibilities for being involved in space sciences. It also makes it fun to think about the knowledge that I gained at university in the context of how would this work in space? How could you deliver medication to astronauts on Mars? Could you 3D print it? Would it still work in such a different place? All of these questions just make everything so much more exciting to learn. And at the same time, technologies created for space through the spring thinking process could benefit so many patients on Earth. And I know that it sounds like a very long-term plan. Uh, it will probably be a while before I can work on any treatment for the first Mars colony. But in the meantime, I'm trying my best to get involved in other projects. Uh, I became a STEM ambassador and I also co-founded a space education company called Stratonas together with my friend Lewis Campbell. Our goal is to work with schools and to give students of all ages an opportunity to touch the edge of space. So what we do is we come into classrooms and set up some fun space related workshops, at the end of which we try to design a cool science experiment. And then we take our gear, we send that experiment to the stratosphere, so about 100,000 feet up on board of a balloon. And then we get to retrieve that experiment and compare it to the one we left on Earth. And just like that, we are all scientists who work with samples that touch space. It's really a magical feeling and an opportunity to be a part of something extraordinary. And it's really very exciting to think that nowadays you can become a part of the space world with almost any background. You can find a way to link your scientific curiosity to space. You can do it no matter how old you are. I discovered it when I was already a university student, but when I participate and meet people for space-related activities, I see passion for space across all ages. Don't forget that it was indeed an 11-year-old girl, Venetia Burney, who came up with the name for Pluto. And with that in mind, I want to wish everyone a happy Pluto Day. Thank you for listening.